Hello guys, and welcome back. It is Warwolf here for another episode of our Rare Hunter series. I'm gonna keep continuing on House Flipper here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a recap real quick. Last time that I did one of these episodes, we fixed up some houses, we did some demo and stuff like that, and we got some skills built up. Um, since then, I have bought a house and I have sold one just to see how things work out there. So I have sold my first house for the achievement. Um, I think I bought it for maybe $32,000 or something. I sold it for 50 something thousand dollars. So I made a decent about $20,000 profit. So from that point on, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy some houses. I'm going to fix them up. I'm going to try and sell them for a decent amount of profit. And we're going to see where we go from there. Um, there is also a update for Halloween, the Apocalypse Flipper DLC. Um, supposedly there is a house that is, I don't know if it's haunted or there's some spooky stuff going on or whatever. So if we have enough money by that point, we're going to try and buy the house and see what it's all about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of speed up the process a little bit as I'm doing this because I'm going to try and spend about an hour per house to fix it up and make whoever's going to buy it happy and I will shorten the video down for you guys a little bit with speed. I'm not going to cut anything out so you guys can see what I do. I'll give you a before and an after so we'll go ahead and buy our first house that you guys have seen at least anyway. Okay, so as you can see, we have about a little under $75,000 now. Um, they have upgraded a few things. I guess the tablet and stuff is a little bit different. I guess we can try and check and... Oh, my. Okay. Garden DLC. Apparently, they're going to be adding stuff for the outside, hopefully. That'll be nice. I'll be able to get rid of some of those bushes and stuff like that, so... It's a little bit different. So what happened when I sold some stuff here is uh, they have given me information on some of these people <coughs> that will help me later on with selling things. He, this uh, Raphael Urko here, he is the person that bought my first house and it looks like 56000 which was a decent profit on it. I had to put a good chunk of money back into it though. So, let's see, what do we got for houses? Where is... The house after flood, long car boarding house. I'm not 100% sure exactly what house we're looking at here. But we're just going to start with our very first one. We'll go with the burn house and buy this. As you can see, there's some pictures here. They are not looking all that great. Uh, yes, I would like to go there right now. Go through a little walkthrough. We'll see what the house looks like. And then we'll start fixing her up. So from the outside, you can kind of tell that there was, must, obviously there must have been a fire here at some point. Um, the outside looks pretty, pretty dingy. There's a few things, we'll get rid of some stuff right away. Oops, I did not want to do that. All right, so we walked into this place. There's a, uh, this looks like, this house has the same layout as the one that I bought in the first place. Pick some of this stuff up just to be able to walk through here. So yeah, well, let's see what we can uh, let's see what we can do here.
All right, so I have completely got it out to place. Uh, I removed all the doors, all the furniture and everything. I cleaned it up. And um, as you can see on the map up there, that tells me of everything that is currently wrong with this house. Let's see if I can get a better view. There we go. Okay. So this is, this is what it's telling me right here. Um, we're going to start with this room. Get rid of that. Little odds and ends we'll put in. We'll put in some different light fixtures and stuff. So we're just gonna start. I don't think I'm going to be um, changing any walls or anything like that, so we'll go with this.
Okay, so we have fixed up the house a little bit. We did some painting, we did some flooring, I put in some new doors. Obviously, I have not put any furniture in. And we have done the outside of the house. I have no idea what to do about this point up here. I have I haven't been able to find anything whatsoever in order to to do this gable end. So somebody is gonna end up buying a half burnt house. It's not gonna be a completely unburnt house. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what these guys like. I know what some of them like. I think I'm gonna try and go for the student. I know he likes a place that he can work on stuff in his room, so he likes a desk, but he does not like TVs. He doesn't want a computer or anything in there. He just wants a desk that he can do his homework and everything at. He just basic kind of person. So we're gonna start adding stuff in here. Um, maybe add like a table and stuff in here. Um, a little bit in the kitchen here and we pretty much already have the bathroom done, I'm pretty sure. So we're not gonna fill around on the bathroom at all. We're gonna add maybe a few light fixtures if I can find them in the marketplace and we'll go from there. Okay, so we added a few things. Table, chairs, sofa. We got the kitchen pretty much done. Got a desk and an office chair and a bed in the bedroom. Like I said before, we got the, um, the bathroom finished. So this is what it's looking like so far. So off of the side here, there are five people that are interested in it the most. The top one looks like the businessman and he would be the one that is willing to pay the most for this house. So I'm going to review what he likes. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, so buyers. Dolan Trusk. So he likes that there's exactly one bedroom. He likes that there's one bathroom. Um, he would like a separate office and he wants a place to store his books. So let's see. If I can find a bookcase for him, that would work. Um... I wonder if I switch the desk over to the living room area, maybe he'll like that instead. But that would leave me with no table in here. Well, let's work on the... Let's work on the bookshelf. Bookshelf. 
Oh, I'm not good at rotating these items. Okay. Looks like a fancy kind of guy, so we'll go with something like we'll go with something like this. A little darker. I don't know how big this thing is. That is pretty big. Okay, we're gonna change something else. Basic plan, bookshelf. Or oh, something like that. Okay, so two people for sure like that. Three people like that for sure. So the student is looking like a good option. Um, so let's see what we can do to change his. Okay, so I got the books. Let's see, he likes to have a place to sleep. He likes that there's only one bedroom. He needs a place to study near the place where he sleeps. I put a place for his books. And he doesn't like when there's a TV where he studies. I think he might be a good option. So I think I think I'm gonna leave this as the final final house. Let's take a few pictures of this. These pictures that I am taking will be up on Twitter later. Just so you guys can see, if you don't want to watch the whole video or anything, you can see the progress that I did on the houses. So let's see what we got here. We got... Okay, that's about what I was shooting for. So I worked on this house for an hour and three minutes and 25 seconds. I wanted to shoot for about an hour a piece. I have a feeling that the bigger houses are going to take a little bit longer, so I'm going to have to mash those all together. So we originally bought the house for $34,016.16. It is 944.4 meters of square space. Oh no, the, the parcel area is 944.4 square meters. The house itself is a little under 37 square meters. It has four rooms. And we have put in $36,536.09. So let's start an auction, see what we can come from. Okay, so Gorla Lair doesn't know what he needs a kitchen for. Jack Carrion tenants value two bathrooms. He needs a separate office. So I am profiting of $16,984.12 off of everything that I put into it. Furniture sold. I guess, um, I guess I don't necessarily need. Is that the furniture that I bought that got sold? Or is that the furniture that was originally in there that got sold? eight hundred and thirty dollars sixty cents either way I'm gonna try and negotiate the offer just a little bit I'd like to see if I can get like maybe fifty five thousand for it so let's see sixteen ninety four I want to go up by about like two thousand 
Perfect. Perfect. I will take it. Worth every penny. So we got an achievement in the process. And we are currently sitting at... When it loads here, come on. We are currently sitting at $91,653.36 after selling officially the first house that you guys have seen and my second house. Obviously I had to test it first beforehand. I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't change the gables on the house. They still look like they were burnt. It would've been nice if I could do some paneling or something on there. And maybe open up the space just a little bit more. I don't know if I can use the whole lot of land. Can I build? Let's try this just out of curiosity. Okay, so apparently I cannot build outside of the house itself. I can't do anything with the plot of land. I can't I can't mow it yet. I am not able to add on to the house. I can't put an addition on here or take out any windows. It would be nice if I could add in some windows. It'd be nice if I could put in some additions, make the house a little bigger, make it more my house. I wanna make it what I want it to be rather than currently this little dinky thing. So that is it for now guys. That was the second house. I will keep doing these as I go on here. I'm gonna try and shoot for about, like I said, about an hour a piece on the painting, demo, do all that kind of stuff and adjusting things in the house. And hopefully we can get a decent profit for it. Obviously I'm making a little bit of a profit from it, but the bigger houses are gonna need quite a bit more money to put, to invest into them and um, hopefully we'll get to that point eventually. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Down in the comments I want to see what you guys think of the houses that I have designed. So, designed in this case, whether it be the one that you just watched or even this little guy right here. If you think this is a good, decent little office starting place, let me know. Um, I didn't get to the outside, so don't worry about the outside. Next time, I will have, I might have sold a few more houses. I would like to keep playing this in my off time. Um, build up my account balance. I'm gonna try and find, I'm gonna try and find some of the DLC content. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what house that is. I have to look it up again. Um, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.